Her boyfriend That's is in the studio. That's why, boo. Her boo is in the studio. Yeah. I, I, I know why. Hi, baby. Are you a replica of Kat? <laughs> <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> your head like onion, okay? <laughs> Mumta, how's it going know. on your end? Uh, 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 Jake, I only know it be cast that do meow, meow. <laughs> so <laughs> I can't be cute for this guy. <laughs> anyway, Mumta, today off the pitch, what are we talking about? We're talking about how sports has become one of the most important tools people have used to better their lives mm. and i felt so sad and disappointed to hear that you were a basketball player and decided to make yourself a disappointed basketball player i think i think today i think we've been giving him fans you, oh, so you could have just been is... the lebron james ah. the steph curry oh unfortunately oh. Uh, Mufta, right now we are getting personal. Like, I, just, I just were friends. Oh, Mufta, if there's any problem, let's talk about it after the show. Eh? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, no, it, oh, it's because of Ifia. You are sitting, too, take your you are sitting too close to her, so I'm feeling Sorry. very uncomfortable. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, so Mufta, it's time for Off the Pitch. Take us away. I've, I've put together a video for you. Mm. Watch the story and allow it to join your live stream, and we'll continue after that. Yo, 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 yo. This morning is a special morning, very emotional. After working out this morning, I came to visit my old neighborhood. Choco, as you can see, I mean, it's a living testimony. I don't have much to say, but just look at it and where I am today. Thank you. That is exciting. Many of you might have noticed that he is a global icon, but that was his abode. If you are struggling to remember his name, he is former Ghana Black Stars captain, Stephen Napier, telling the world how his journey began. His life story began from the wooden structure he came out from, and now he resides at the house you are seeing him. Stephen Napier, he is a clear manifestation of what we call from grass to grace, rags to riches, zero to hero, and of course, from humble beginnings to greatness. And his incredible story began through football. His incredible story began kicking football at the dusty Indanfa Park, through to Accra House of Oak, to the greener pitches of several European sides, including Juventus and Fenerbahce. Stephen Apia is adored by masses. Stephen Apia is an inspirer of the current generation, and his story is for generations unborn. There are other stories through different fields that are worth acknowledging, but sport, in Apia's case, football, changed his narrative. On Tuesday, I interviewed Akwesi Frimpong, an illegal immigrant who told the most incredible story of this year's Winter Olympics. Let's listen to him. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that, that's one of the toughest times in my life. Um, you know, living in Ghana, um, when my mom left, I think I was about two, three years old, 1989. Um, she left to prepare a better place for us, future education. And that's why she went to Amsterdam, to the Netherlands. And she kept her promise. So in 1995, she came back myself, my brother Kofi, and we moved with her. So in our mind, it was all about, oh, we're going to Europe. We're going to a better place, a better future. Not knowing that life was more miserable my first 13 years than being a kid here in Ghana. Um, and it's because you are, uh, you are exposed to, to, to a lot of great things that you cannot touch, that you cannot be part of. Um, the fact that no school wanted to accept me because I was an illegal immigrant. The fact that when I injured uh, my ankle, no doctor wanted to help me. It, it, was, it was really a tough uh, situation to be at that young age and to be battling uh, with those emotions and, and, and tough time and not to be able to show my God-given talent. That was a really rough moment. Uh, Until his name popped up on the internet, there were millions who had never heard of a sporting discipline called skeleton. He is ambassador of the sport not only in Ghana, but across continents. If you heard his story, you appreciate what sports can do. He touched the world and he's still touching lives. 
Please, not the supposed uh, Obinim's magical sticker that can change your watch without relate to special packaged food from your favorite restaurant. He touched lives from a different perspective. I remember the green I wore during the interview. Jake and Efia. Mm. I've interviewed huge personalities in the game of sports, mm. including the FIFA president and CAF president. But this was the most inspiring interview I've ever had. Wow. And Stevens' appear story is worth not forgetting. These are two incredible stories that can only get one inspired to pursue his dream of becoming a sports personality. And, Jake, yes. you did a great disservice to yourself and your family oh, Jesus. for not becoming a basketball player. <laughs> Mubtao, as for me, I have an explanation. Injuries. Oh. Injuries. And let's face facts. In, I have a bad ruptured knee injury, but let's face facts. In Ghana, besides the sport of um, uh, football Whoa. and even boxing, not a lot of sports can actually put food on the table in the country. For the people that play the hockey, the volleyball, the table tennis, tennis. you know, the, the, the cricket. There are, there are people that do sports in the country, but you sometimes have to feed the family. Food must be put on the table. So it's, it's only good and, um, you know, fortunate for the likes of Stephen Apia, who, um, you know, are inspiring generations. And uh, before we even get into that conversation, I, I've really been touched by um, this video. And... Um, I'm only drawn to the fact that I wish all sportsmen would have their heads screwed on right the way Stephen Apia is. A lot of sportsmen also had humble beginnings. They are in the limelight, but they don't handle the fame well. They are not inspiring. And some of them don't even go back home to, you know, inspire the little kids who also came from their home. So for someone like um, Stephen Apia to do this, I really want to say um, kudos to him. And generally, let's, um, you know, appreciate him for what he, he's done, Muftal. Jake, yes. I, I want to call for the appear video again. Mm. I don't know. Mm. I'm having goosebumps. Mm. I just need to, to call for that video. Yeah, showing emotions. Wow. <laughs> yo, 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 yo. This morning is a special morning. Very emotional. After working out this morning, I came to visit my old neighborhood. Choco, as you can see, I mean, it's a living testimony. I don't have much to say, but just look at it and where I am today. Thank you. I've been touched by the Obinim sticker. So. <laughs> <laughs> Jake needs to buy Obinim sticker for his knee. Hmm. If you thank God. He sounds the same way means to me. I won't say so. I won't say so. But Muftar, thank you very yeah, much. Thank you very thank much. You very much. Um, I believe um, this video is going to be an inspiration to um, the kids out there. Sports can make a difference for you and your family and your community. And um, for the likes of Stephen Napier, in fact, for a whole generation. You know. So let's take the sports serious. If you have the opportunity, who knows where sports will take you. We're exactly. going for a short break. When we come back, sports review segments in a bit. Thank you.